welcome back to the cryptoverse this is ralph your host and yes it's been a while but today we got a bv hero and bad cows video for you so let's jump straight in into the info so today guys we're going to talk about vv first so what has been going on with vv well let me tell you uh, since my last video that i made uh, they have actually done a lot of progress they've actually opened up the vv beta web app which actually works pretty well i mean you can't really participate in any drops through the uh, browser but most of the drops are through the app and i'll tell you through here when you try to purchase some that these drops are exclusive drops only so if you want to buy the or participate in the drops for vb you do need to get that mobile app but other than that it's pretty good you can buy stuff on the market you can check out your collection you can even go into your showroom but it's kind of a little uh glitchy still because when you enter your showroom, it will say like loading. If you have 500 collectibles in your vault, well, guess what? It's going to download all those 500 collectibles and it's going to take some time to do it. So sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but it's actually pretty good. The feed still doesn't work here yet, but it does work on the mobile app. And here you can see the marketplace on the web app and it actually looks pretty good. It's basically a copy of the VV uh, uh, mobile app and if you guys don't know we got KYC if you guys are planning to cash out of VV now you can as long as you get that email for the KYC which I got mine yesterday which I was pretty psyched I mean I'm not gonna sell any of my collection yet I'm nowhere I'm not gonna even not even thinking about selling my collection anytime soon so right now it's a good thing to have but i'm not cashing out yet guys and if you don't know how to get to that part you go over here you click on your profile tab click on the cog here for settings and you go to payout once you do complete your kyc it will let you come into this if it's you're not KYC yet, it'll give you this option is disabled and you cannot use it. But yeah, guys, it's awesome. Everything is going pretty great with VV. I'm not gonna lie, I am very very satisfied with the progress VV has been doing since last year. I've been in VV for a year now since March, and they've got. A lot of stuff done yes there's been a lot of downs and some ups mostly downs but it's still good though they've done a lot of progress and I'm pretty happy with it cuz you can cash out now so yeah that's awesome and uh, if you guys uh, have not heard yet if you do own the Jurassic Dominion collectibles like the T-Rex and blue they are going to be dropping beta the little raptor which is kind of dumb because it's the same thing as blue you know but if you own those collectibles you have a chance to uh receive the beta and blue together nft collectible so if you guys uh, have the whole full set of them and if you do uh, end up buying the beta collectibles they're going to be dropping you're going to get airdrop beta and blue together statue i mean kind of stupid if you already have beta and blue you can just put them together but it's still an extra nft that you'll have in your vault though that's so that's pretty cool also we got some hero news hero has doing pretty well too like i have 343 ready to participate in the next drop and that's what we're going to talk about it is the next drop the next digital drop which is the third drop because it was no the fourth drop because it was the batman superhuman the pride which did horribly horrible horrible look at that price is 44 bucks i should have sold mine a long time ago i did sell mine i made me some profit but not as much as i wanted to but yeah and uh so the new drop is the lantern corpse so we're gonna get the green lantern the fear uh the rage uh, the darkest darkest nights i think which is like an undead 
corpse or some shit like that. Like, I can't remember, to be honest. But a lot of good news from Hero, though. Uh, they're finally releasing their Multiverse Chapter 1 in India. So for those who live in India, congratulations. Welcome to the Hero Club. Because you're going to finally be able to purchase those cards through Amazon IN, which is for the India uh, uh, Amazon so they will be going on sale july 23rd so uh july 23rd if you guys in india want to buy these cards jump on it fast because they do tend to sell out fast and i'm pretty sure there's going to be some people out there shady people out there going to try to be trying to buy these uh from the india and ship them to the u.s so guys but get ready get ready get on the ball and buy those cards because they tend to sell out fast and San Diego Comic Con, they will be their booth 4014. If you guys end up going to the San Diego Comic Con, make sure you go straight to their booth. Run straight to the booth. Why? Because if you're there, they're going to have 400 allowless slots available for the next digital drop. So if you guys go, you have a chance to be on the allow list for that next digital drop, which is a big, big help, a big uh, uh, one up on everyone else. Because if you're the first ones there to buy and the Green Lanterns are more popular than uh, Pride, uh, uh, the card packs. So guys, don't miss out. Uh, if you go, make sure you run straight to their table. And the next drop will be on July 28th. Uh, so I'm assuming it's going to be like at 12, like usually the same time as always. Uh, 30 pack collection, uh, 30 cards collection, five packs in the allow list. Now, before it was 10, now you can only buy five. But in the public sale, you can actually buy 10. So if you're in the allow list, you can buy your five. And when the public list uh, uh, goes up, you have a chance to buy another five and complete that 10. So they did uh, scale that back for the people on the allow list. I guess to make it a little bit more fair for everyone else, which you know makes kind of sense. And so let's, let's watch this video really quick so you guys know what the next drop is. Yeah. See, here we go. We got the Green Lantern. I, I don't know all the, the symbols for these guys, but I know Rage, Fear, Green Lantern. Uh, one of these is like the Undead one. I think it's these guys here. The Darkest Night. Oh, Blackest Night. Uh, Blackest Night uh, Lantern Corp. Uh, if you guys don't know who they are, check them out. I have checked them out in the past before. And they look pretty cool. They look like it's some undead uh, uh, lantern core. So yeah, July 28th, 2022. So guys, do not miss out. This is going to be a good one. Uh, because like I said before, gray lanterns are more popular than the, than the Pride. Not as good as the first drop as the Batman one, but it's still pretty good, you know. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited for this one. The, the, the other one, the other drop, not so much. But this one, yeah, looks pretty good to me. So yeah, guys, I cannot wait for this. It's going to be awesome and sweet. Now, let's move on to the next one. Now we got bat cows. So if you guys aren't part of the bat cows, you guys are missing out seriously. Because uh, we're already on boat number five for deciding the comic book they're going to be releasing uh involving the bad cows the legacy of the bad cows uh the first vote was uh shit man i don't even remember to be honest uh second one was the title of the comic book then the next one was i think like the psychic I, I did miss number three, so I can't remember. I think four was the psychic. Who was going to be their psychic in the story? Which I personally went for Nightwing because there's no better for uh, no one else better for the job to help Batman and, and finding and uh, figuring out this mystery about the Bat Cows. Uh, 
And the fifth one was actually about the villains, which is pretty cool. I chose Chinatown because if you actually look at Chinatown, you actually can see a good uh, tunnel system. I did post one on, I, I, I'm not gonna be like this. I am transparent with my boats, so I'll post them on my, uh, on my Twitter. So yeah, see here, this is the one that I chose, Chinatown. Why for the villains? Why for the lair? Because look at it. If you're a villain here, you have easy access to the ports. From what I can tell, these are tunnels, I believe, because the white ones are roads. So these are tunnels. So this here junction here where it all uh, connects together, this is a pretty good spot like to set up a trap or to actually confuse someone and try to make your escape. So this is the reason why I chose Chinatown, because to me, it looks like a perfect place for, for a villain lair. Also, this is a night wing that they did their drawing in the comic book. I'm not a big fan of the look because I think he looks like a dork like that. But, you know, it's Nightwing. He's a fucking badass and, you know, he's going to kick some ass. So he, it's still pretty good. So yeah, guys. If you guys are, if you guys have not bought a cow, maybe you should, guys, because they're actually retaining their value pretty well. I uh, haven't seen too many that are, excuse me, uh, super cheap. Most of them are above three hundred, and uh, which is pretty good because their retail, when they first dropped, was three hundred dollars. So these bad cows are actually retaining their value pretty well, especially on a down market that we're in. Let's take a quick look at the bad cows, which is the cheapest bad cows. And I can, I'm pretty sure it's going to be above $300. Let's just look for it really quick. Here we go. Cheapest. Oh, shit. Well, it just dropped just a little bit below to uh, $300. But it, like I said, it's still pretty good because I retain their value pretty good. And these bad cows are actually pretty fucking cool. Like this one, I like the purple. Um, the ones that I like a lot are like these with the uh, with the gold eyes, which from what I understand, it's one of the legendary traits like this guy here. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't know that he has a legendary trait right on, on the on the uh, light effect for the ice. Mine is Patro Blue, uh, which is okay. I mean, it, it's a common trait. And yeah, guys, so like, let's check out my cow really quick. I love the background. The background is No Man's Land, which is 1%, which I believe is like a legendary trait, if I'm not mistaken. And then you got your Patro Blue, you got your Lantern Green Weave, and the Vinyl Gloss. Uh, material which is like two percent my background is one percent the lantern is two percent as well so i mean I, I got some i got a pretty good cow i think i do i mean i love my fucking cow i'm not planning on selling it and i cannot wait for my snapchat filter it's my snapchat filter if you guys do have a cow and if you guys want your snapchat filter make sure you go to the discord for the back house and send a trouble ticket let them know that you want to get your Snapchat filter. They'll send you the link. Click on the link. It'll ask you a few questions. Put your email, your name, the serial number of your cows that you want to get the filters for. And they'll send you an email back with that specific link for that Snapchat filter. It has taken some time for me. I've sent it mine like two, three days ago. Now, some people, they even get it within the same day. But, but not me. I'm still waiting for mine, which is pretty good. I'm in no hurry. Uh, I'm not planning to sell my cow anytime soon. And also, you can actually cash out as well in the, the DC uh, Palm NFT Studios now. You can actually cash out, which is pretty fucking cool. Uh, let's see. Really, really quick. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, you do have to do your KYC. So you got to send your information and all that shit. And they'll after that process it, it, it's the same process like if you did the kyc through vb you gotta send your information you know all that shit verify that you're human you're not a bot and and yeah guys which is pretty good i mean because uh, no one likes bots no one likes getting ripped off by bots like we did get for a long time and we, we got fucked so hard by those bots 
we got we got no man's sky to he- to the fucking moon dude with with bots on Vivi. But good thing uh, Vivi did rectify that problem. A lot of the bots that we had before are gone. There are I'm not gonna say that there's no bots on Vivi right now, but there's some. Uh, uh, that someone posted up some pictures from like two drops ago with a bunch of like random names with a bunch of weird numbers, which we all know it is bots because we've seen them in the past before. But yeah, guys, a lot of good things, a lot of good things in the NFT space, especially with BV. They're on the ball. They're are the number one company to go to to buy nfts because you got ips that everyone knows you got bent you got comics you got collectibles bv is gonna be the number one collectible nft uh, company in the world i can guarantee it because no one comes close to bv as of yet there are some other nft projects like of course the board apes which are fucking famous and shit um but no one knows who Bored Apes is. I mean, people know who the Hulk is. People know who Finn is. People know who, who Thor, Venom, Nightwing. Check this out. They, we even got George Washington stamps. Which, by the way, if you actually look at this, look up this stamp, you a used single stamp of nine, 1851 George Washington goes for and 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 i'm talking about a used up fucked up stamp it goes like for 950 bucks if you get the full sheet like a mint in mint condition you're you're talking about thousands of thousands of dollars i looked it up the other day and i think like the full sheet was going like anywhere from three thousand to nine thousand because they have very uh various um uh 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 options to choose you, you got your mint a little bit used a little bit damaged and guys those stamps go for pretty high and that's because they were released on 2016 a few years ago and they're pretty uh, pretty expensive now pretty pretty expensive so yeah guys i just wanted to bring you a quick video because i know i have been gone for quite some time i have been getting myself ready because i am going on vacation i've been hustling at work putting some hours, getting my commission up. And yeah, guys, I'm going to Disney World in a couple of days. So I live in Texas. I'm going to drive to Florida. And we're going to go have a good time with my family. We're going to go to Disney World. And which, by the way, they will be dropping um, Disneyland Resort posters on the 17th. And I'll be there on the 18th. So when I do get my uh, get those posters, because you best believe I'm going to fucking get those. I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to bust out my golden moments. I'm going to bust out my making. I'm going to fucking take some pictures of Disney World, guys. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Just wanted to bring you this quick video on Vivi, Hero, and Backhouse. So, hey, guys. If you find this video useful, make sure you like the video. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you hit the bell for notification and hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos and more content like this. Because I will be putting up more videos now. Now that I'm back, uh, you know, I'm not so busy at work anymore. So, yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.